Hey guys, this is Lucas G Productions here. This is first tutorial. My first tutorial on uh, how to do this intro I made in Sony Vegas. So first, you want to add three video tracks and one audio track. And you can put your audio in. Put fades on the side by grabbing or like clicking on the right hand corner of your audio and your video. And just dragging, just dragging it in like that so they all line up. And then just um, put your brick texture on the third layer the third video track and then when you see that this picture it doesn't really fit the size of the video player so you want to go you want to go to event pan crop right there and just just crop it until it fits the size of the video player Oops. and then there you go and the next thing that you want to do is want to go into event effects and you want to hit cookie cutter okay and just go to oval make sure it's at the beginning just go to oval yeah and then uh, do the size size is about like 350 and uh, just feather it to about 67 and there you go now go to the second track and hit insert text media and I use a and just a uh, stretch it down there and put fades I got a little ahead of myself there okay so you want to go to any font you any font you can choose. I use this font, custom font called TMS1, and you hit that. And depending on how much text you write, you wanna have it so it'll fit in there. So just put 60 for whatever, and just write something random. Okay, uh, and go to properties. You can put any text color you want. I just put this blue, just by dragging like that. There we go. And you go to effects. Just go to draw outline. Do a couple of width and make it black or any color you want. Uh, oops, wrong one. Yeah, yeah, just go to black. Okay, so now we got this. Got to like break that. But first, I want to go to event pan crop. And at the beginning, I want to crop it just a little to the side, or this way. And at the end, I want to crop it in the opposite direction, but the same kind. So that would be angle starting at 10 and then ending at negative 10. So if you watch right there, yeah, it like, turns like that. And then you want to um, hit this little film thing and then hit 3D source alpha. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And um, you can also hit like presents or something else like that in there if you like. Like right there. And then add another fade here. And you want to add a transition, so the just I'm just gonna stretch this out a little bit. Just link this up. Okay, and what I use, you do cross effect, and you go to cross zoom A B and slow. Go right there. And you can like shorten it if you like. And then hit another one on the other track. Like right that. Uh, or whatever. What do you say? Yeah. <laughs> you can put another one on there. Okay, and if you have trouble doing this like me, um you just <laughs> oops. Just take the fade out and then put it there. 
and then yeah, shorten it until you get it as short as that. Okay, 16, and that is at 16. Just make it right there. Okay, and there we go. And just do the same thing with the colors and stuff with the other text. Just go in here. Let's do. I do presents. Sixty. And then TMS one. Whatever you like to use. Use the same color. Well, not like super exactly the same color, but like yeah, like close to it. Just get black and put some width on it, kind of close to the other one. I I don't like I don't get like super exact, but I just get close to it. And so you want to do the same thing with the crop, but I just put it in opposite directions. So you start at negative ten, and then you want to end at ten. So there you go. There's your basic cropping here, and your transition, and the other. Okay, so to make this look cool, we're gonna go into this, and then you do 3D source alpha, and then you go into track motion. Okay, um, I had a little like screw up with this thing, so. Um, just put the text on the first layer, and that way it won't make your 3D thing so weird, because it was making it weird, so I'd like, stop and find out what was wrong. So, in this, you want to make it first at 20.0, and hit enter, and keep going till the end of the clip, and you want to do minus 20.0. And then for the next one, all I, all I just got to do is just go to the end and put 20.0. So there you go. So you got your nice, cool 3D effect in there. And do that. And the final thing you want to do is, um, again, go to uh, Media Generators, and then you go to Solid Col Color, and you get white. And, um, this is like a uh, goes to the music that you're playing with so every time it hits like a snare like this like that you just wanna for like a flash effect when it hits that you just wanna um zoom in a lot you just put it at like the beginning you just have a fade so that's not white the whole time you have like an equal fade like that just put it like that so it'll go like that And, uh, to make the tutorial short, I'll stop right here, because this takes a while. Oh, yeah. And you just want to copy, and then at the next one, you want to do a uh, paste, and then you hit create a reference to the original media, and just put it down there. And just keep doing that on each one till the end of the clip. And I don't want to make this thing too long, so I'll stop here, and when I'm done, I'll show you the intro. So see ya, and I'll make another tutorial on whatever.